What's up, you fucking piece of shit? <laughs> All the peg pigs in the house tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, how many people don't pay us five dollars a month? Yeah. Oh. Boo. Well, ten dollars this month for the show, so I really appreciate it. But next month we're coming for you. Yeah, true. <laughs> Everyone's cars just get declined anyway. Yeah, what's up with that? We got broke listeners. Yeah. Or you know, yo, I have a theory that I think that I think that there are people that know that it tells us when they unsubscribe. Mm. So they do the polite thing and they do nothing. Oh, nice. they have to like change their whole identity, get a new card and everything. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. They accept that they can't come back. I get that. I get, the, I get that. That's hard. It's tough, man. How do you think this is going to go? Uh, so far, so good, but I guess there's, it can only go down from here, really. So, uh, what about you? Uh, yeah, I feel pretty good about it. So far, so good? So far, so good. I mean, the vibe is... The setup is dope. The setup is good. It makes us look cool. It does make us look cool. You know what's fucked up? Mm. We get free liquid death, and I fucking just had to buy these at the store. I know. They stopped responding I'll to us. I'll complain about anything. <laughs> I'll complain about absolutely anything. This is the first time I had this black one, though. I just like a plug. This what one? <laughs> um, this black sparkling liquid death. Okay, I think, um, all right, let's play a game. Uh, I double dare every person in the audience to say the N-word in the mic. All right. Oh, that's a fancy word. I thought at least some of the $5 hit. <laughs> Yo, I definitely get a little concerned sometimes when, um, when I guess when I think about the people that listen to our podcast mm -hmm. and what they're like in real life <laughs> and what sort of what sort of point of views they actually hold and uh, I feel like everybody that listens agrees with everything I say. I think so too. They don't care about uh, they what, agree religion? wholeheartedly and they listen. <laughs> I don't know if there's any religious zealots in the audience, but. I despise you. If there's any atheist zealots, I despise you too. I just think that I love talking about religion. Yeah, it's good. we're like a, a Christian podcast almost, but they're kind of like the opposite. Um, but it's not even just Christians, dude. It's all of them. <laughs> I, I think I know like two religions. Yeah, that is true. Christian. I know like there's like four. Right? There's like four that I know of. <laughs> I know there's a there's Christmas, there's Kwanzaa, that's about those there's aren't Hanukkah. Religions. I know, but there's Christmas or there's holidays around the religion, if you will. That's true. I just didn't know we were talking about holidays. No. There's Saint Patrick's Day, there's Easter. Yeah, that's uh, um, what Irish Irish religion. That's Irish. Yeah, that's, uh, that's leprechauns. Irish uh, oh, I guess Irish Catholic is like a thing. Oh yeah. They got their own sect. I do. <laughs> Shout out the Irish Catholics in the audience. <laughs> um, we're filming this, so yeah. Hopefully, we don't have to blur your face or anything like that. Mm. I guess there won't be really any faces in it. No, I can't. I can kind of make out some faces right now. I like the little strobe light or the little uh, the disco, disco ball. ball. Yeah, it brings good vibe. That is a good vibe. Mm. Um, yeah. I didn't need to smoke a second blunt before we started recording. <laughs> Everybody knew what they were getting into when they, when they bought their tickets. What's your count today? What's your total? For the whole day? Yeah, for the whole day. Uh, the one that I smoked before we came up here to uh, do what we're doing yeah. is uh, four. Woo! <laughs> Don't clap. Don't clap. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him one. I gotta say, that's freaking sweet, dude. <laughs> Thank you, but I shouldn't be encouraged. That's good. It's a Saturday. It's a holiday, too. I didn't even know it was a holiday this weekend. I never knew. What holiday is, what religion holiday is this? Memorial Day? It's the worker, the worker's holiday? America. Worker religion? No. America's religion. Okay. America. Yeah. Should we talk about, um... Damn, you only got one fun drink I had to have. 
I know. But I do count this water as fun because it's in a can. Oh yeah, but yours isn't sparkling like mine. I don't like and spiking, it's sparkling water. Sparkling water is um, I like the it's a thing that people have tricked themselves into liking. A lot like um, <laughs> just like beer. Oh uh, yeah. Nobody actually thinks it tastes good. There's no, and people love to drink it. Like in theory, it seems so fun. Yeah. To just grab a six pack with the cans like dangling, you know, mm -hmm. and they're clunking together, mm -hmm. and you just crack one off and you throw it to your bud. But yo. Does it work like soda? Like, I feel like I would be like, I can't open that one yet and put it down and ask him to hand me another. My friend, that is. Uh, it's got a different vibe than soda. It's not, I feel like uh, soda's fun, but beer looks more fun. I would love nothing more you know I mean? than to grab a six pack of Diet Cokes yeah. and just straight up crush them in one, <laughs> one like, um, event, I guess. Like, like tonight. Tonight, like You yeah. show up at your favorite podcast and you're like, I'm gonna crack a six Six packs of uh, Coca Cola. This is my favorite podcast, by the way. <laughs> this is the only podcast I listen to. I do worry that sometimes um, I get caught on a certain day with the, when we record the podcast, mm -hmm. and I don't think I'm necessarily not in the mood to be silly, mm -hmm. but something's sticking in my craw. Not right now. I feel pretty, uh, yeah, pretty groovy yeah, right now. Four in. Something just, if that day will stick in my craw, and then I just feel. Venomous when we record. I like the venom. The venom's cool. That's because you know that I'm just having a little moment. <laughs> <laughs> I like to try to bring it out and you, you know. So, sometimes I, I think about like your. Well, we know your mom is a listener. We don't know how frequent of a listener. Yeah, where is she? She's not in the audience tonight. I'm a little bummed. That'd be Especially so straight ticket. up. I would be so bummed if your parents came. Oh, I feel like straight up. A little sad that she's heard the things I said. We could turn it up if, if she was I, here. We turn it up a little bit oh even man, more. I hope that I mean? she doesn't like uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel after this. What if your mom came and she got hammered and was like <laughs> taking her shirt off and stuff? <laughs> Yo, sir, I think that I'm, would be bad for me. Um, maybe better for other people. You know what I mean? Yeah, like would you? <laughs> Who wants to see their mom do that? Yo, straight up, I would, I would, I would let my mom do it. And I think I could get her to you, do it. You'd be... <laughs> would, you, would you call your mom a bitch that night, though? Oh, um, I call her a bitch all the time. <laughs> I worked with a guy, I talked about this on the podcast mm -hmm. all the time, but I work with a guy that cannot accept me calling my mom a bitch in any capacity. And to be clear, I've never um, been in a serious debate with my mother and grabbed her by the collar and said, You fucking, <laughs> you fucking bitch! <laughs> But, you know, she's being like a... She's being a... She's not even being a bitch. She's just being like, you know, a little, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Difficult. Difficult? Yeah, she's being a bitch. If she's being a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I would never say that to my mom in anger. Just like a mm. playful, you know, mother-son kind of thing. Mothers oh. and their sons. So, so, you go, Mom, you're being a bitch. Is that's that how I talk? That's, gonna, that's how I hear you in my head. <laughs> um, I do go back and forth yeah. between... Th I, I always with, will hear myself talk, and I think... Or with singing, and I think, do I have a high voice or a low voice? Mm, very high, like helium. No, I think, I think you have a very normal voice. It can go low. I think so. Um. Yo... Not to change anything, but I was thinking about being called the Green Goblin this week. Oh, yeah, there was a guy that was, like, on meth or something that was talking to us outside of our practice space, which he may very well own the practice space, for all I know. I will say, for a guy on meth, he smelled amazing. He smelled really good, amazing. and he was in, like... First of all, how old do you think he is? He's at least 45. In good shape, though. He's 45, or he's a... He's a hard living, like, 38. But, yo, he's, I was going to say, in the, the best same shape of most people that I come across yeah. in the span of a month. Like, mm -hmm. for that month, he's the be in the best shape out of anyone I've seen. He looked good. Cool tats. Actually, I don't know how cool they were, but his swag could have used some more. He could have upped his swag, but, yeah. Tank he top. He came out calling you Bruce Wayne. <laughs> and then he said, Bruce Wayne and the green guy. <laughs> Like DC Marvel, okay, I get that. I guess that. Yeah, but then, see, we didn't really even realize that he was like on one at that point. He just kind of 
came out and said that because he almost slammed into me when he was coming out of the door. Yeah. That was my fault. And then he was like, oh, I almost got you. You were in the back cave, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> and that's why, he, that's why he said Bruce Wayne, and that all of that made sense. Yeah, that was clear. But then he started just talking, and it felt like, you know in the original Super Mario Brothers game? I don't know. I feel like the people that listen to our podcast yeah. are like 16. <laughs> You know how like you go up and down on the platforms and stuff? That's what I felt like his like brain waves were doing. Like he would be telling yeah. us one thing, you know, like, you know, the fucking like this building right over here. And then our friend Mike, who is here, he started yeah. talking to him as if they had been drinking together at a bar last week. <laughs> he's like, yeah, yeah, I were drinking together just last week over there at the yeah. bar. Right. And he's like, who do you think I am? <laughs> and then at one point he was talking about how he. Uh, this is my favorite guy. Well, also, we saw this guy today. This didn't happen today. We saw him today, and we're just like, oh, what's up? We saw him? We saw him, yeah. Oh, I didn't see him today. I just saw the guy with no teeth today. We got characters out this oh, practice. Yeah. Every time, he always just cruises up yeah. on his 10-speed bike, and he's like, what's up, fellas? I'm like, what's going on? He's like, can I get a light off of you? <laughs> and I always, like, he'll, he's the kind of person, he would take it with him. He would, like, put it in his pocket if I wasn't paying attention. Mm. So the second he lights his cig, I go. <laughs> I give him no opportunity before he can even start talking after he gets the first drag off him. Like, yeah. Too soon he gets the inhale. He wants to take it so bad. If you don't have the hand out, he's gonna pedal away on his You know what? I'm gonna try an experiment. Next time we Ooh. are out there, I'm gonna give him one. I feel like he's like across the street and like looking through the window and can like see us there and he's like, oh, and he goes downstairs and gets on his bike and What's up, fellas? It does seem pretty suspect, considering he, the fact that he just rolls up. Yeah. He doesn't go inside or anything. He just pulls up in between us on his bike. <laughs> drops, like, drops his legs down, like, with his pointed toes. Because <laughs> the bike is, like, high up. <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, you fellas got a light. <laughs> and my new method, because he'll, he'll talk. He'll yeah. talk this guy. I'm going to get back to the guy that was on the road. <laughs> But this is our other boy. Yeah, these, these are our homies. And then if I, I will just continue talking. Like, I'll acknowledge him. Mm -hmm. But then before I can give him a chance to derail the conversation. Not that he doesn't do it. Because yeah. every single time he'll, he'll butt in and he'll change the topic for sure. <laughs> but my point is, he'll just roll up, grab a light, chill for a sec, and then ride off. Yeah. So he honestly might just chill and wait for us to... I think he's peering out his little window. His little voyeur. I'm going to give him a lighter next time to keep on saying, you can have that. I feel like you need oh, it. He's, he's going to be your boy. He comes around, and if he doesn't have that lighter on him, I'm going to have to, like, a stern talk with him. I think that would be a good idea. Not a stern talk, but, like, a really, like, arm around the shoulder, like, what's up, dude? Like, why can't you hang one of these lighters? I'm worried about it. I don't even know this guy's name. But the yeah. other guy, the guy that was on drugs, he mm. was, like, and he was talking about how he's like, you know, a guy like me would be pretty valuable in somewhere like in the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, fuck. he wasn't talking about that at all before we yeah. started. And I was just like, fuck, man. Like, you got a good point. You know what? To be honest, I feel like he could get some work done. He yeah, he, was, he had a valid point. He enjoys his free time, though. That's for damn sure. <laughs> but then he was like, you know, like guys like you and me. Looks me right in my eyes. Like, you know, guys like you and me. And I was like, fuck, man. You're his vibe, bro. I'm like this guy. And then I kind of thought about it. And I was like, I should honestly be so lucky. Yeah. He's in great shape. Not a bad looking guy for his age. He was kind of handsome in a weird oh, way. He was, he was not a weird way, just a normal He was objectively handsome. a handsome guy, I would say. He's got tats, too. I'll tell you what. He's got tats. I don't. You're into that. I can't speak to if any of them are problematic or not. There's a good you know chance. You know what? He's my boy either way. I accept him either way. I don't, you know. He's your ride or die. Listen, once my friends get canceled, dude, I don't just sweep them under the rug and be secret friends with them, okay? I don't declare our friendship over on Twitter and then uh, absolve myself of mm. their sins. I say, I embrace them and I say, come on to me, my friend. Feel my warmth. And. Consider my warmth in times that you, it crosses your mind to, to sin. And then you think of my warm embrace and I want you to go the other way towards the light, my brother. 
And honestly, ever since I've done that, not a single uh, accusation has been made in America. <laughs> you fixed America. It's pretty. You amazing. know what? When you say things that people don't want you to say, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people don't like it. But a lot of people that you know, here's the thing: if you get offended easily, you don't. You have a tiny brain. <laughs> I'll elaborate. Okay. <laughs> if you hear someone, something someone says, I am high, so you gotta... <laughs> when you hear something, s I don't even get high anymore, to be honest. Like, I do, but I don't. You're just, you're smoking that Delta 8, and it doesn't even work anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Delta 8, dude, I couldn't even... That crazy. I couldn't even get my eyes glassy, bro. Yeah. Might as well be Delta 2, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Just oregano, really. Um... Oh yeah, the uh, yeah, small yeah, brain yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so if you hear something on the surface, your your base, your your first instinct is to go, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think it jumps into people's brains. I'm guilty of this too. Mm -hmm. um, but then my brain, I got brain enlargement surgery, and now I, uh, <laughs> I no longer get offended by anything. <laughs> It's kind of like... Except South Park. They're a little much. Yeah, they are a little much. I feel like the brain surgery thing is the kind of the thing where people are like five, five and they want to be six foot. It's the same doctor that does that, you know what I mean? Oh, that makes their shin, yeah. breaks their shins, breaks like their adds shin. a shin in the middle? Yeah, they, so they break your brain and throw more CPU in there. Um, I thought they just did the same thing as a BBL and they like take it from... <laughs> the they take it from like here and here, which honestly I would... I would love that. Um, B B BBC, BBL, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo, I, I can't believe that the BBC, the British Broadcasting, uh, what does the C stand for? Cock? Cock. I can't believe they haven't switched it up yet. It's, a, it's a insane. Every it's time insane. I see it, like in a, I'll be watching mm -hmm. a movie in association with the BBC. I fucking, <laughs> I can't not laugh. And I gotta figure, like, dude, imagine, all right, imagine us. Mm -hmm. We get to go to Maida Vale Studio and we do a live session. That's like a that's like a yeah, it's an list. honor. It's yeah. an honor. Yeah. And they're like, B we're welcoming <laughs> Super Heaven or Web Dwayne to the BBC mm -hmm. radio broadcast. I would start crying. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever met the Queen or any royal figure, yeah, or I guess like any political figure, what's the guy? Uh, the what's prince the, that does no, not the prince. With the guy, <laughs> what the guy? What's the guy with the crazy hair? Uh, yeah, Boris yeah, Johnson. Boris Johnson. Yo, he is like, he's swag. How do I say? Style. I don't want to like pick on this guy too much because uh -huh. I feel like he's the easiest target, and every joke about him yeah. is gonna be. But he looks like if someone with no swag, yeah, looked at Donald Trump, and they're like. He just has the mad. <laughs> That's my guy. Yeah, like, but he even, he doesn't even, he's, like I said, he's swagless, so he's, can't even do that. Yeah, it's weird to wake up in the morning and be like. I don't know anything about this guy. Maybe he's really sweet. He probably has grandkids. <laughs> That's a good chance. He almost died Yo, you know COVID, what? which is crazy. He probably molests him. Um, I don't like to make assumption, assumptions about people. I don't know, but that guy's got strong molestation. I, I mean, he's in power. The, that prince over there likes to diddle kids. Is he still One, alive? The queen's daughter. Yo, how many princes yeah. are there? Can, you, can there be lots? Is that true? More than one. I can see, tell you that much. Let's see. Check it out. More than one. Yeah. Prince Harry. Sure, but, yeah. Prince Charles. Prince William. <laughs> prince... That's all I got. There's three. That's three for you. So. And then there's the, the prince, the, the one that is friends with our boy Jeff. Is the is the old <laughs> is the old the crypt is the crypt keeper guy the is he um, he's, is he their dad? Yes, I think that's daddy. He's the redhead, the ball guy in the. No, redhead? no, 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 no. That's their daddy's daddy. Okay. That's their granddaddy. That's, that's a relief because I'm yeah, like, yeah, wow, yeah. he looks so bad. How dare Dude, he I have kids at that age? Love all the memes of him. They're just in the car, just like, Ugh. Yo, anytime there's like a. Anytime I doubt that there actually isn't some, some sort of like elite liberal class, mm -hmm. um, 
that are like, not, listen, litter, lizard people are a little far-fetched, although I'm not ruling it out. Maybe. <laughs> it would be freaking sweet, dude, I gotta say. Yeah, that would be the coolest scenario. Everyone always talks about this. That'd be like the best scenario that it exists. <laughs> it would make a lot of sense in the world. A nice lizard person. I mean, yo, how fu- Yo, that'd be the most exciting thing that ever happened in our <laughs> kind of ever. Like, even if it was, like, wholesale kind of, like, bad, I guess. Yeah. But we don't know that. Although it would be kind of fucked up if they were, it was true about, like, the drinking baby's blood and, yeah. you know. You gotta take the good with the bad. Yo, they're babies. They don't know what's going on. Yo, that's a good point. <laughs> Yo, we're pro-choice. <laughs> From conception to like 12 years after. We need yeah. to pass a law. I, I'm i for that movement. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, what if it was legal to straight up like choke your kids to death? <laughs> to a certain age? Or yeah, just like, up until 18? Like once they're six, like parents are biting their nails when they're like five and a half. And it's like, <laughs> we only got six months to figure this out. <laughs> Our deadline is in six months. And honestly, I love the fucker, but... I never sleep. <laughs> Yo, here's, here's the thing. All I ever hear from, don't get me wrong, all of my friends that have kids, they say, it's absolutely worth it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it. Bullshit. <laughs> I believe them, but I also think that they're obviously massively downplaying. Like, mm -hmm. when you hear say, like, people say, like, oh, yeah, it's just like, we're so tired. We just never sleep. That... That sounds dreadful. Once I get like a little sleepy, if I can't sleep, I get furiously mad. I start to be hot and furiously mad, and then I'm like, it's unfair that I can't sleep. And this is like when I'm being kept awake by something. Not like if I didn't just tossing and turning. Mm -hmm. Then I'll just get up and watch Family Guy, but. <laughs> yeah, this but like, is. For example, if we're staying. At some shithole on tour, yeah, which we don't yeah. do anymore because we're adults. <laughs> um, no big deal. If you're in your 30s and you're in a touring band, that's already like, listen, I'm right there with you, Brendan. Mm -hmm. But honestly, it's so fucking sad already <laughs> that the thought of sleeping on someone's floor is just like diabolically sad. Like, yeah, it's rough. Also, playing shows in a basement. No way. Of a basement of a house. I'll play the basement of a fucking. I just get that image of that Mickey Mouse in the basement, like, come to my show. Oh, yeah. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. See, yeah, that, that, I just don't want, that I don't want that. captures... And it's like, my, in my head, that's in Ohio, too. That's like, come, come play my basement in Ohio. I'm like, I don't want to do that. What if I told you that Ohio is my second favorite state to play? Uh, I'd actually kind of believe, <laughs> believe you, because some of the shows are actually good there, but... It's not. It's not even close. It, it, it would be crazy if you said this. Like, I'd rather play Ohio, middle of nowhere, than like Los Angeles. I'm like, you're crazy. You know what? As I'm, as we're talking about mm -hmm. it, I feel like uh, <laughs> I didn't get too much hate. I feel like I no fuck Ohio. It sucks. So bad. <laughs> Some of my worst like um, just uncomfortable uh, like sleeping arrangements have been in Ohio, I think. Yeah. One time we stayed at this one guy's Ooh. house, and I won't say his name, no. right? Or really, really... Yeah, don't get too far into it. I won't allude too much, because he's a pretty scary yeah. person, and, uh... And this is being filmed. And I could get murdered, but... He was, yo, really, really yo. sweet guy. But we got there in the middle of the night, and we woke up, and we stayed in his, like... Boy, I hope he doesn't hear this. We stayed in his pretty dirty house, and he had kids and stuff, which is, like, fine. I don't think we ever even saw them. But uh, as far as you guys know, <laughs> I don't think we ever even saw them, but um, I remember sleeping in the basement and the basement was like, a, it was kind of like a split level, you know, but it was nice. It was pretty big, but then I, uh, I'm an early riser no matter what time I go to bed, except lately I just can't. Now I just wish I could sleep all day. <sighs> Me too. It'd be a dream. What's, what's up with that? I might have like <laughs> what's up with that? AIDS or something. <laughs> <laughs> People with A's always look tired, so I just assume they're... Right. You might, you so, might, oh, yeah, I didn't even talk about what happens when I get tired. So, I'll get back to the scary yeah, yeah. guy's house. Or maybe this not. Is just or maybe how not. I, this is just my thoughts. Go off, King. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if I start to not... If I, like, if something is keep... If we're staying over some slop's house and they're, like, yeah. being loud... Um, cause it would never happen that the, the people that are 
rowdy travelers, you would assume the freaking musician circus is in town and they stay on your floor, your dirty floor. You expect them to be the raucous ones. They're on your television set through the window. Yep. Banging your roommate. Um, Doing drugs. Yeah. Smoking cigarettes in your kitchen, even oh, though you yeah. specifically asked them not to. Just don't play your. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Just You're don't with... touch my Xbox. When they That's... specifically ask you not to touch their Xbox. Uh, yeah, just don't touch my Xbox. Yo, you can do anything gonna... you want in their house. That was the craziest night. Yo, I went crazy. We have to sleep, but I might hit him up, like just track him down. I think we could do it. And then I want to hit him up a proposal to be like, can I have you do a cameo? <sighs> For the podcast, like, give me the voice. <laughs> he sounds like um, uh, what's the guy's name in the wheelchair on Family Guy? Joe. Joe. Damn, you know everything. Yeah, I know. Jeopardy. Jeopardy had up here. <laughs> Yo, Jeopardy is the most depressing show I've ever I've ever watched. Wait, now or whoa, 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 now or later? Like now or the earlier one? Just the old one. Yeah, it, Here's the sh here's the shows that make me depressed, and then I'll finish my story about Sabine, <laughs> and I'll finish my story about the dirty basement. Um, what was I saying? Uh, I don't remember. Anyway, it's not important. <laughs> so Jeopardy I'm sucks. Oh yeah, Jeopardy. Jeopardy is. Just I, see, I sad. like Jeopardy. I'm on the Jeopardy pro side. Jeopardy's just sad, dude. I didn't say it sucked. Rewind the tape. I, also, I like it. I, I also didn't say it sucks, but I do think it's sad. Uh, okay, sad. Sad makes a little more sense. I don't sense. mean sad it's fun. like it's pathetic. A fun game. When it's on the TV, I feel depressed. Oh, okay. Same with Cheers. If Cheers is on, dude, I'm depressed. If Home Improvement is on, I'm half depressed and mostly <laughs> fucking laughing my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> What's another one? Uh, Simpsons doesn't make me depressed, surprisingly. Simpsons? I, I like, don't really know Simpsons time, very well. But yo, if it's a Friday night and there's like a... Sabrina the Teenage Witch is on, dude. Ooh. If I got nothing better to do on Friday night, and I'm, I end up flicking through the channels and watching a live, like, the night it airs episode of Clarissa Explains... I'm sorry, the other one with the same person. Or Clarissa oh. Explains It All. What a bad show. That show sucks. Bad, bad show. Yeah. What were they thinking? That wasn't for kids. Yeah, you, know, you remember the show where the guy... The, I don't know if it was a guy or a girl, but someone turned into, like, silver and just, like... Why does that Speed matter? Studio. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was Alex Mack. That's the Alex show. Mack. Yo, yeah. she was fucking fine as hell when I was a kid. When I was a kid, when I was a kid. <laughs> In my head, that girl and uh, Melissa Jones. Melissa Jones? That Melissa Jones, yeah, that's her name. Hart. No, I think it's Melissa but Jones. When she was younger, she was Melissa Jones, no? Was she always hard? There you go. You know what, dude? They're I think the same person to me. Always been Melissa Jones from the beginning. And still goes by that today. That's, that's my girl, Melissa Jones. Is she married too? And has a baby? I don't know. That's not her real name. That's so sad. That's her real name. Yeah. We, we agree. Yeah. <laughs> They're upset because I was trying to lead you astray. Yeah. I went to look something up and I just cracked open Twitter. <laughs> you got anything good on there? Um, no. What was I... Anyway, so, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I'm in this guy's basement, mm -hmm. and, uh, I'm just like, I'm awake and everybody's asleep. People are snoring. I think the only other, I think only other, one other person was laying in the basement with me. Okay. With me, and it was, uh, our drummer, who's a big fat slob. <laughs> at the time, at the time was. And, uh, so he's snoring and being overall just like... Unbearable to be around, and I'm like, uh, let me maybe I'll watch a DVD. There's a rack of DVDs, and I'm flicking through. Like, I don't want to say hundreds, but I feel comfortable saying dozens of like bootleg Street Fight DVDs. Like, like really. No, not bum fights. Although there's no doubt in my mind that he had the, the bum fights are probably like in his private reserve. Yeah, 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 yeah. Locked away in his vault. Dude, imagine if I came down and was watching his bum fights. <laughs> that would be sick. I Did I watch... say you could watch my bum fights? <laughs> that's a perfect. You guys don't know who it is, but that's a perfect impression of him. That is a spot on. Um, boy, I hope he doesn't hear this. 
I, maybe he'd love it. I don't know. Maybe he's really proud of that collection. But I watched like <laughs> I watched like six or seven of these things, and they're each like fifty minutes long. You watched them? I watched many. You cracked them in? Yeah, I cracked open. Yo, there's ones that were in Florida where these. Pardon my saying, but it was what it was. There was these black gentlemen, Whoa. and they're they like jump this old white guy. Mm -hmm. He was. Guys, the facts are the facts. <laughs> I got no dog in this fight. And boy, did they hurt him. And I'm like, I can't believe somebody filmed this and wasn't like, we're going to get in trouble for this. For sure. <laughs> no, they're like, we're going to make money off this. <laughs> like, I can't believe so many people film fighting. Yes, but also, I like watching it. <laughs> not that might be the worst part. I'm just like, oh, not my. usually. Dude, I watched someone kill themselves yesterday, which was weird. It was weird. It was weird. But a politician just like shot himself yeah, on live TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a PA head. Oh, so you're talking about the video that's like actually decades old? Yeah, oh yeah. That, that, it made it a little less like sad or scary, you know, or like real. That's what I'm for. What, what were you watching this on? Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Why Someone was, it, someone why, was it? why was it on Twitter? Someone just crazy live moments on TV. Yeah, let me guess. Let me guess. It was with the caption. It was that a gif with the caption like. This is what conservative politicians should do instead of uh, <laughs> not uh, making guns illegal. Yeah, pretty. Uh, and then ironically, when Yo, I don't done. care about guns at all. Yeah, but I am a pretty big fan of school shootings. So. <laughs> 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 Oof. Go on, explain yourself. This is not. This is a. Um, I don't. Space. I won't elaborate further. It's just a thing that I. You wrote a song about it. I wrote a song about it. That's for dang sure. Yeah. And uh. What can you do? Yeah, honestly, there's nothing you can do. Let's hear it. You live and you learn not to put it at the very end of the record. You put it like earlier on. And then you change the name of the record, mm -hmm. and you really get the point across. I wanted to call the record "School Shooter Music," and my uh, <laughs> other people involved were. Advised against it. Some people were down though. Some people were down. And there's only the next. There's always the next one. <laughs> Say, there's always LP three. But it might the name is the hardest part. So having one ready to go, it's like yeah, kind of, of a, kind of a blessing. One in the chamber. You know what I mean? <laughs> you got one in the chamber. Amen. <laughs> right Damn, it's fucking nice. Oof. I gotta start working on this water, or else I'll just take my soda down and then. I need some dessert, you feel me? <laughs> this is all, dude, this one's all dessert. You're done? I'm done, dude. You drink I drinks drink. so fast. Hey, you I think something's them. wrong with me. I'll drink fast, I drink them. You ate a pretzel and drank a whole 20 ounce <laughs> bottle of soda earlier in like, I have blink of an eye. I feel like I blinked. I was still chewing on the first bite of my mm -hmm. pretzel. That's not true, but for dramatic effect. Imagine me just bite, slow motion biting in and tearing off my per first bite. And Jake's like crumpling up his little paper, <laughs> his paper bag that, for his pretzel, and there's like salt uh, falling out of it. And he's just like going like this with his empty bottle of soda, and there's no drips coming out. He's kind of a weirdo. Oh, me? <laughs> That's normal. Eat your food. Are no. you thirsty? Yes. Are you hungry? Yes. That was me. I ate, I ate and drank. <laughs> You Listen, know what? I felt I felt amazing afterwards. When you put it that way, I straight up like I have no argument for you. Right, there you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah I, I drink. So, I do drink stuff too fast. And I do eat stuff too fast, and in the result of that, I get I get a tummy ache. This is our worst. Episode. I know. <laughs> um, thank you all for being here. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't. Uh, didn't know how this was gonna go. Still don't know Still how it's <laughs> But it's cool. I feel like it's groovy. I feel like um, it's it's uh, it's going. You know what I mean? Oh, it's going. <laughs> I always wonder. I'm not the kind of person that's uh, would speak aloud at an event mm -hmm. like this. So I always wonder, like, what the mindset is of speaking aloud at like an event like this. No judgment. Just. My brain is not like that. Like the mindset of the audience or the mindset of... Yeah, no, of me. Okay. Why would you get up there and say it something? Yeah, I don't know. Like, yo, when you mm -hmm. go to um, 
if when you go to a festival, when you yes. pay three hundred fifty dollars for the admission ticket. Oh right. Festival, well, I, I do the VIP and I get the tent. And then you. I can sleep squeeze, over. You squeeze your way up to the very front at, mm -hmm. the, at the barricade. Oh yeah. And your favorite musicians are me a mere 32 feet away from you mm -hmm. on a stage that's like 10 and a half feet tall. Mm -hmm. Death Cab for Cutie. And you're screaming the lyrics out. Uh -huh. When they like um, do a call and response thing in yeah, the yeah. songs, because you know, you got to do that at the festivals. Yeah. Do you, hey, oh, oh. do you scream and clap your hands and wave your arms and stuff? For sure. I got my face painted. For sure. Someone handed me a mystery bag of stuff and I took it. Do you know that raves, like rave, uh, electronic musical, musical, <laughs> electronic musical festivals? <laughs> Alright, that's my autism. Yeah. <laughs> um, were you guys aware that uh, <laughs> electronic musical festivals are actually mostly attended by uh, women wearing almost nothing? <laughs> that is true. But the fits are like elaborate, like they're. <laughs> scarce uh, fabric wise but mm -hmm. they're like very involved these people take a lot of time to think about what they're going to wear to this fest um, or fest in general and I can't I, I mean you'd be an absolute fucking asshole not to think about what you were going to wear to a festival you paid $325 uh, for that ticket uh, I can't believe that that's crazy I don't know I, went to, I got duped into going to fire fest so I got no <laughs> I that got guy no got out to stand on. That guy's out. Him and Martin Skrilly. Yo, honestly, free, <laughs> free my man Martin and free my man that did Fire Fest. I don't know his name, but that's yeah, I don't know his name. Yo, sorry, you. Uh, he got you. <laughs> <laughs> you paid him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah was, I was mad. <laughs> <laughs> I think he should do it again. I think it would be a success this time. Yo, he should get another shot. People that that's their thing. Yeah. They can't stop. Partying? <laughs> well, yeah, it's it in his own way, which is like just hustling money to uh, yeah, make yeah. a thing, mm -hmm. and then it's just a hollow shell of nothing. He's like uh, inventing it. Do you watch that? No. Oh, well, he's just like that. Because that uh, that gal gets on my nerves on an Ozark. Oh, uh, see, I haven't watched Ozark yet. Good character, but listen, I don't want to sound like an old white fellow. <laughs> She curses a little much for me. Mm. <laughs> um, she's got a potty mouth is kind of what you're saying? She's got a potty mouth. Yeah. And um, I just don't think that women should talk that way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I honestly, the only part about it that annoys me, it's appropriate for the character, I guess, but they uh -huh. lean a little too hard into like, like I feel like if my mom watched the show or my yeah. aunts who are like, they're all annoying. Well, yeah, we know and that now. <laughs> I love them, but they're insufferable. My mom's cool, but they're overall pretty insufferable bunch. But they, if they watch that show, yeah. they'd all be like, oh, I love her. I love the little blonde one with the curly hair. Oh, she's blonde in it. She's, she, oh, inventing Anna, she's red. Oh, red. Yeah. Oh. Master of disguise. <laughs> Am I not turtly for the turtle club? <laughs> Yo, that movie's good. Yo, know, straight up, I've never seen it, but I quote it a lot in my life. Yo, we should watch it. Oh, we should just prepare it now to sit down with everyone and watch it. <laughs> <laughs> can we can we make that happen? I wish we could. The thought was to have maybe do a projection, but yeah, for when we look things up, yeah, because we don't know anything. So anytime we talk about something, we talk about it for about fifteen minutes. And if we don't forget what we were talking about and talk about something <laughs> else before we make our point, if we had one to begin with. We'll eventually just be like, well, I guess we can just look it up. And we look it up and we get a very, we read the, no matter what it is, we read the very first thing that pops up and we investigate no further. And I count that as a deep dive. I count that as me being like an expert level on knowing this shit. Um, you remember when you were really gung-ho about it doing a deep, you could say deep dive on the toodles from yeah. the uh, Orange County Choppers? Yeah. He kept they, saying, like, a deep dive, and I'm like... I don't know what, what I was going to do. What are we diving into with them? Um, I did find a few things about them. There's, like, the one biker guy, he, they think he might be gay. One of the sons. 
That's true. Yeah, yeah. there Junior. was a, there was a conspiracy about that. That was my, one of my deep dives. Uh, I was just curious. They still talk. You hired like other. a PI to obtain that. <laughs> I paid a lot of money for that. All we found is uh, he may or may not be gay. I That's was like, what okay, they cool. tell everybody. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what I was gonna find really besides that. Uh, but I like the thought of me being, you know, on the on the internet just clicking around. But since um, the podcast is sort of a more of an audio format, yeah. Um, like were, were we gonna listen to some videos or? Yeah, that was my intent to listen have have a whole clip of them <laughs> throwing stuff at each other. Yo, we definitely should do an eighty five dollar Patreon tier. Yeah, that's a good one. Where. <laughs> Not once a week, not twice a week, mm-hmm. but like maybe three times a week. Definitely. We watch Orange County Choppers. <laughs> <laughs> and you can listen to us watch it. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> well, I'm going to need more than your vote. I'm going to need your 85 <laughs> And your card not to get declined. Oh, That's yes. the big kicker. I got four. Oh, oh yes. all right, yes. Okay. yes. Okay, about fucking time. Yeah. About fucking time. He's not getting declined anytime soon. You should tell your uh, rich friends about this podcast. I think. <laughs> um, yo, I don't know what NFTs are or why people oh. dislike them so much. Because they don't like, know what they, they don't know what they are and they want to get in. Well, you're like a techie. What are what? Are, could explain to me what it is. And don't say it's a non fungible <laughs> token because that's what everyone says and nobody knows what that means. <laughs> me, least of all. I think you just get a picture of an ape. I think that's what it is. But, but like, uh, what do you do with the picture? You look at it. Like, do you get a physical... No, no, you just look at it on is it your a phone. file? Do you get a file? No, no, you just look at it. Isn't that cool? What do you actually, I think you get like a, um, like a number associated with it. Like a like, certificate of authenticity. Pretty much. Like this is the only one of these. Well, it's like yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Hmm. Yeah, it's not that cool. So you know, you I just look at it. You know, I do hate that, but not enough to um, think about it. <laughs> no, it does. It doesn't keep me up. At, that's not what's keeping me up at night. Um, I've seen a lot of people give um, a lot of celebrities flack anytime they tweet about NFTs. Yeah, I know Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis are really into it. Well, you know, no, is that not true? They're not into it? Or you're not into them? Don't care. They want us to change the topic. You don't, you don't, uh... um, do you just want to not, do we just steer clear of Adam Kutcher and me? Yo, one time I was talking to my dad. I lived, I was, my dad was my roommate last year for a whole year. And he, he was talking to me, and he kept saying Ashton Kutcher, and it was, like, fucking <laughs> boiling my blood. Like, it took everything in me. Like, I I have a tendency, mm. when my dad does stuff like that, I, it, like, gets me so mad. And I, like, try, I'm like, all right, well, I don't want to, like, I don't want to be a dick, because he just doesn't know what this guy's name is. But, like, he's not, the, he's not old, old. He's not an old man. He can hey, say that he knows what the fucking guy's name is. <laughs> Does he does he pair that with a nice like chipotle? Um, I don't. That's my favorite. No, let me think of stuff that he says weird though. He says um, Dude. he does weirdly say chocolate, like chocolate. chocolate. Hmm. That's a weird one. Maybe that's how you say it. I'm, I do. I am not one really to talk. I can I can barely pronounce words in general. So it's a good thing I am on a podcast. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah. Good. I really love when um, I hear you read something and then I see what it says and I'm like, that's not even not close. What it says. No. If you see a word that you don't know how to say, just skip right over it. You guess. You just guess. Good enough. I, I, I spell for your strategy either. is you you pay attention to the first two maybe three letters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the middle is just like anybody's game. Like any letter's yeah, yeah, got yeah. a shot it can be included. <laughs> and then sometimes the last like one letter is is right. Skeptical. Check that, I can say that now. And that's pretty good. That's a pretty good one. But there's a word I was thinking of, I was trying to say the other day. Variety. 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 There you go. That one's your Everest, Yo, for sure. Can, you, gotta, you gotta get me the number of the guy that can make your large, your brain large. I need that, dude. I'll put you in contact. I need the BBL. Or... Yo, he does, 
He does enlargements of all kinds. Oh, you don't say. So he can make, you can have a good thing, is what you're saying. Uh, I wouldn't know, but yeah. <laughs> I said, doctor, can you enlarge this? And he said, son, I don't mess with God's perfection. <sighs> and he put his hand on my shoulder and he said, listen, don't tell anybody I do this brain thing. This brain enlargement mm -hmm. thing, I can get in a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. So, you guys gotta sign a form on the way out because that guy's really powerful. <laughs> how much more time we got here? That's my signature. Yeah. That's my catchphrase. How long have we been recording? Okay. This, this, this episode, this is our worst episode, and how much time's left? Um, this could have been a lot worse. This could have been a lot I, worse. If I, if, I made, if I made tune our, tune our collective yeah, to, horns, Toodle our own horn. If I could toodle our own yeah, collective go for horns, it. um, this has gone pretty good so far. <laughs> and you know, listen, I think so. There's podcasts that I know of. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you know what? I'm an agent of chaos. We're all agent of chaos is here, I think. Yo. I think I'm not like volunteering. I'm not like saying I'm I'm up for the role, but mm. I straight up think I could kill the joke of the role. <laughs> For real, I honestly think, first of all, I have it in my head that I'd be, like, an acting phenomenon. Okay, okay. I feel like I, feel like I would be discovered in an indie movie that's, like, really bad, mm -hmm. but they're like, this kid, he's got... He's got the stuff. He's got what it takes. Harrison Ford sees a clip of me and like, <laughs> yo, you know, like, yo, here's what I want to say. All celebrities, I'm like, I hate celebrities, but like, I'm obs I'm fascinated by them. Yeah. I don't buy Us Weekly or anything like that, but like, if it was free, I would definitely. Hate it. Yeah. We're not rich like when that guy. I'm when they're in a bathroom, I take, I see what's going on with the stars. Oh. But not like the ones that are. Um, the shitsters, you know? What's the one? The, st uh, the Star? The Star? Is that a magazine? Maybe. I don't really look at magazines when I'm in the bathroom. It's a fucking dead format. Right? It really is. Anyway. Um, oh, yeah. I noticed all celebrities on Instagram. First of all, they have no... They are so detached from any semblance of a normal, like, idea of what people want to see. Okay. Go on. Um, and they always... Re all they do is repost other posts from uh, from other accounts, but not like on their story. Uh -huh. They will use like it always says like repost it with a repost app or something. They uh, use an yeah, app yeah, yeah. to repost someone else's post on their Instagram. That's the saddest fucking thing. These people have millions of dollars. <laughs> I never, I've nobody never knows, seen nobody this. Nobody thinks that's. Sad. I've never seen this. Is Harrison Ford doing that? Yeah, that, he's almost dead. He doesn't know how to work on I don't know, but Harrison Ford's going to discover You don't think he's almost dead? He's not dead. He's almost. I think he's I think he's, he's pretty. Okay. He's pretty old. Uh, you know who I'm thinking of? You know, I'm th I am thinking of Harrison Ford, but he was actually almost dead is the other guy. The cowboy guy. It's coming. Hold on. Clint Eastwood. That's the guy. Um, he, he could play the queen's wife in a, or husband in a movie. The wife would be crazy. You know what's awesome about him? He directs he's, pretty much every movie that he's in. And he, um, <laughs> there's at least one scene in every single one where he's like having a threesome or something <laughs> with like, not like old, not all, 90 year old chicks. It's like him and two like 23 year olds. In the writing room, he's like, I got a great idea, guys. And so I'm here. We go get, again. That, that's so awesome. People, people. Give Quentin Tarantino a hard time, uh, yeah. and then they watch his fucking movies anyway. So I don't know who they think they're tricking. But is there anybody out there that's like Quentin Tarantino can't make a good movie? I don't think there is. He's got he's fired. Dude. Deafening silence yeah. from the fucking thirty-two people. <laughs> <laughs> um. So anyway, when I get really tired, I uh, <laughs> first I get hot and then I get mad and mm -hmm. then I'm hot and mad mm -hmm. and then if I like can't go to sleep for whatever reason this happens when i'm on planes i uh, just i just feel uh it turns into overwhelming sadness so my point is kids are out of the question and if <laughs> if they if i have kids and they and i can't sleep i will just simply sleep 
One will just simply sleep. One will just simply sleep. And then I think that's what the, the parents, you have put them in a soundproof. You know the things that they make for isolation? Yeah, isolation yeah, for, the thing on Nathan for you, when they took the little kid and they had sex on top of it? I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm glad that we get applause for a TV show. Just mentioning a TV show. Um... But yeah. yeah, it's a, it's an isolation booth. It's the same thing. But I was kids. just thinking, like you just plop them in there and you can't hear them. Yo, did you see? <laughs> That's what it is. Did you see a quiet place too? I did not. I, see, I saw the first you one. You when they lock the baby in the thing? No, but that sounds awful. And, and it like suffocates. <laughs> oh. That's, um, Spoiler alert. <laughs> Listen. I, 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 yeah, it was bad. Okay? <laughs> We're saving you a lot of time and trouble. Well, okay? thank you. I, I didn't even bother. I saw it and I was like, nah, I heard no one talk about this. I'm not watching it. Um, but yeah. yeah, so you put a baby in the thing and it and then it dies. Well, you'd leave a little air. You'd leave little air holes like when you catch a. Well, puzzle. I'm saying in the movie they did that. Well, I don't think the baby dies. Does it? Oh, they, I don't understand the movie. Oh, I thought you did. I thought I saw it with you. <laughs> <laughs> then I don't remember. I don't, I don't mm. know. So anyway, so you need this for an adult though. When your kid's crying, you just crawl in your little isolation. Movie. No, 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 no. So oh, 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 it will simply be. What I was gonna say is like the the things that they put guitar cap. Uh, yeah, 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 so you can crank it up really loud, but it's quiet. Like yes, ice, yes, yes, like an ISO cab. I got you. That, gear but tall. you stick a baby in there, and you can't hear shit when it's in there. But it can breathe. And you have a little, um, you know how the things that the hamsters have, where it like has a little nozzle oh, that comes yeah. down, and you, they, <laughs> and it like beat, that little beads of water come out. Yeah, I think you're onto something there. You leave one of those in there, and like you'll have a like utter uh -huh. style, you know, and hang from the top, and I'll have like a bag with a little nipple that they can sort of. Like, oh yeah. Locate and yeah, suck on yeah, it in, cool. in the absolute dark. Yeah. And um, you know, if you keep fish uh, in goldfish in absolute darkness, they just they stay white. Is that what they do? I did not know that. That makes sense, though. <laughs> no, that's, that's like that's thing. like that's like a, a flamingo. A you know what I mean? If a flamingo, I don't. They know turn pink mean, because they eat shrimp. I guess it's not the same, but they turn colors. Okay, this is definitely a thumb. Goldfish same color. in Elvino? the dark. <laughs> I'll tell you what, anybody else out there have a really tough time with typing on an iPhone? Yeah, yeah it's up Good. to us. <laughs> Being 35, am I right? <laughs> goldfish in the goldfish after dark. Ooh. I'd eat Ooh, it. Here we go. Check it out. Goldfish will lose their color and turn white if they are kept in the dark and not exposed to any sunlight. Huh. And then on, right underneath that, it says, Goldfish actually see more colors than humans. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. There's no way. Do you even have um, a brain? Listen. Burn it. Ow. <laughs> you can't. Like, I wish I could... We don't have the projector, so you I know. just have to take a word for it. Like, I wish I could know what a dog thinks. I can't know what a dog thinks. I'd kill for that. It'd be great. Dude. You know what I mean? Any I animal. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> just dark thoughts. I, I think I want them to be able to communicate when they're in, when they like uh, are in distress and need something. Okay. But I, I feel like they would just make me just. <laughs> I fucking hate this human. <laughs> no, That's all they're thinking. They're like, well, that would be fucked up. This is one of these fun. nights, I'm just gonna t tear them down. I don't. That's not really what I was thinking. Oh, okay. Uh, I was thinking darker. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. Like, Can we smoke talk? in here? <laughs> Yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, so in closing, we're gonna have a nice. Uh, we'll take. We'll do. The, we'll do like a uh, fifteen minute closer. Yeah. We're gonna sing the theme song from Family Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, wouldn't it be cool if we had like a um, like a band play it with us? The song or the what Family are, Guy what song? What are the um, the old fat embarrassing guys on? TikTok that do the pop punk covers. Oh, dude, they're they're awful. Holy shit. The punk, the punk. Yeah, rock everyone factory. knows. Yeah, um, yeah. I saw a picture post of them today. Dude, they're so embarrassing. Um, but they probably have like a ton of money in their bank accounts. So. Yeah, their wives are probably fucking. So <laughs> <laughs> they for sure all got like lip injections and uh, BBLs. And, mm, they got it all. But like the the expensive ones, they can afford it. Trust me. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we do, we hire those guys to play the Family Guy theme song. I wonder yeah. if they've done it, man. They, they've done every song. I'm a subscriber to their Patreon. <laughs> I got the I got the back catalog. Um, but
But yeah, if we have them play the yeah. Family Guy theme song, mm -hmm. uh, we sing it. Oh, that would be cool. Like, we'll each do different parts, like different characters, obviously, but... Oh, uh, who you going for? Um, I'll let you pick first. Um... I'm gonna go with uh, Peter. I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna go for the, the baby from Family Guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we were on tour and someone referred to Stewie as the baby from Family Guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, if, you ever, if you've ever heard of the show Family Guy, you know what the baby's fucking name is. <laughs> There's absolutely no example. And I don't know if he was trying to, like, he felt we wouldn't know, but then that kind of, like, offended me a little bit. Yeah, it's like, we've watched TV. If you turned on the TV, you oh, see yeah, that it looks like the baby from Family Guy. <laughs> <laughs> that like, kind of insulted me. Mm. We should hit him up. I'm going to text him. Like, yeah. How dare you? I didn't like that he said that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. You know what's funny? I was taking a shower earlier, which... Um, Wait, what? <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. I did not take a shower today. And you know none of you can make me do it. I took like two already. Um, yo, raise your hand if showers fucking suck. Yeah! Yeah, my freaking anti shower yeah, hands. Yeah, they all I, they it smelled terrible when they raised their hands too, by the way. Um Yo, they're just they're an absolute chore. I can't complain about it enough. Showers are awesome. Dude. Yeah, that that's my dude. Yo, showers are awesome if you like being hot. Yeah. Dude, it just feels good. <laughs> Doesn't cure that. It's um I got no reason to take a shower. To be clean. <laughs> Other than that, I have no yeah. reason. So it's just like every every part of it is um I have to like psych myself up to take one. As a guy who hangs around you a lot, I never smell you, so it doesn't bother me. So I say live your dream of not showering. Thank you. Um, yes. Dry <laughs> Thank you so much. For all you dirty heads out there. Um yeah, I don't understand the inclination to uh, be at a live event and be uh, clean up, yelling out stuff. <laughs> um, They're having fun. You're having fun, right? This is kind of fun. <laughs> okay. I'm having fun too. Yeah, how had a good time. Um, there was a technical panic when we got here. I knew it was going to happen. This is like a complex, totally like. I know. We're. um... This is broadcasted on the BBC. <laughs> I can't believe they haven't changed the fucking name of that. We gotta get a petition started. Maybe they're like, yeah. we're not gonna back down. <laughs> <laughs> All the princes lined up, and that other guy with the weird hair was like, we can't do this. Yo, how often do you think people just type BBC into their Google search? <laughs> Looking for not the British broadcasting. Yeah, yeah. I bet you a lot. <laughs> And they're just like, what is this? <laughs> Dude, I bet you in the dial-up days, that happened a lot. Some kid just like, oh yeah, BBC. Um, what? Dude, they, I, don't think, I don't think the UK had uh, the internet until like <laughs> 2002. They didn't know about 9-11 and they're like, you walk. <laughs> How do you want to end? How do you, should we end this? Uh, dude, a song would have been great. So we can end it in a song. I, would, I just DM'd the punk rock factory. So okay. <laughs> um, we can just thank everyone or not thank everyone. <laughs> thank you, everyone, yeah, for thank coming. You. Thanks for 